long lining. I mean, it's, it's the way to go. You're watching your big hummingbird TV, got a remote in your hand, sitting in a nice easy chair. What more do you want? What more do you want? hitting it but they ain't catching it you can just bump it down like 0.9 it make a huge difference don't seem like much saying that just one tenth will make all the difference in the world you just have to know what the fish like to see where the fish is now i fished here last week and we may have to change i got 16th ounce on here which goes about i just got a hit which goes about five six foot deep at one mile an hour a 30 second ounce will go about three feet a eighth ounce eighth ounce will good go about seven feet and it's gonna whatever bodies you're using on your jigs we're using a crappie magnet slab curlies right now your different bodies will go at different depths so you have to know your lures you'll get them it's a little variation not a whole lot and uh, that's what you do. I like to look and see this time of year, it's July. Them shad get on top, I'll use 30 seconds a lot because I don't want to be below three feet because the crappie's going to follow them shad pods around and they're going to be high in the water column. It may be, I may be fishing 20 foot of water, but the crappies are going to be under them shad and the shad's gonna be on top, so I don't wanna get no deeper than three feet, so I'll use a 30 second ounce. And I'll be right there, with, right between the shad and the crappie. That's where you wanna be, just a little bit above the crappie. They like to, their eyes are kinda on the top of their head. They will feed down, but most of the time they're feeding. I thought that was out of game. Most of the time they will feed up, so you want to be able to top of them when they see. And this is a reaction bite. This is like the bass fishing chunk and crankbait. It's a reaction bite. You catch a lot of fish, catch a lot of big fish. So let's see what we do. There we go. Whoa. That's a big one. foot, a 12 foot, 14 foot, and this is a 16 foot. I got a two foot separation to try to combat that getting hung up, them fish coming in. But when the fish loads up on it, you just want to pick your rod tip up and try to get him to the top and kind of ski him to the surface, try to ski him in, and he won't tangle up as much. But you throw them out, set them in the rod holder. What you want to do is when you're casting, when, you, when you're getting ready, you cast your inside one first, and then you can throw to the outside of it from each one. We got four. We're fishing with eight rods today. And uh, 
that'll keep it where you now once you catch a fish you get them all out you just got to be good at cast to cast them in between the lines but to start off with cast from the inside out and it'll be an easy quick way to get going This is my third trip in the BC 210. Man, what a boat. It's not a boat, it's a ship. Let me tell you, it's nice. Well, We've done some long lining, done some uh, pull, some fin spins and slab curlies, crappie magnet. Caught a few fish, caught, didn't catch a lot, caught some big ones. So that's what made it a lot, lot more funner, because it's hot. Well, be sure to like and share, come back and see us. <laughs>